Hello viewers, Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing a post that contains some unmarked areas on the Skyrim map. These areas are found after reaching the seashore. If you follow the canyon after leaving the ruined Tower of Ultifad, which I did a video about last time. Right now, the character is standing on the seashore. You see a statue, and I'm going to show you where it is located. Right here on the map, it is slightly north, well, it's northeast of Altafad, and it's kind of west of Winterhold. This statue actually plays a part in an event. If you go into the lower reaches of the Mage College and you find this kind of rings and whatever, it's a side quest. I'll probably do something about it, but the treasure is usually buried here. And if you look around, it's pretty desolate and this statue is to some major mariner or whatever it is. It's, again, it's part of a quest. It's not marked, and if you do this quest, you'll find this statue. Now, over here, I'm going to keep walking across the barren wastes, and you can see there's a dungeon here that I'm going to walk to, and, oh, there looks like some sort of animal I'm going to have to fight. <laughs> Well, just a snow bear. If you're going to wander these desolate areas, you're going to find that you'll be attacked by animals. Now, let's see. I have There's some iron ore here. Okay. Let's see if I got... Um, check. Up. Oh, crap. Um, try this again. And go down. Not ingredients. Weapons. Yes, I do have a pickaxe. And I'm going to mine the iron ore. As you notice, I'm not going to do the standard mining. I'm just going to attack the iron ore. This is a much quicker way of actually getting the ore depleted instead of the whole whatever it is you do to mine iron ore, the whole playthrough. Now I'm going to go back to my weapon, and I've got some iron ore. I'm going to walk over to this dungeon here. And this dungeon that is, I call it a dungeon, but this location that is a mapped location is important if you do the companions. And if you join the companions and you go through their whole rah-rah, sis boom ba type initiation, you become a werewolf, whatever, this tomb, yisk whatever tomb, is important. Now, around the other side of the tomb, on the back side of this mountain, is another hidden location. Okay, in the distance you see what appears to be a statue. On the map here, it is just a little northeast of the tomb that I just found. Now, you gotta walk toward it and, or swim, which is fine. Uh, water breathing, to be honest with you, is probably one of the most essential things to have. But as you can see, it's kind of a Diaz elevated. It's a statue to the main deity of Skyrim. And you have some skeevers, easy to kill. Um, then you have, a, if you look around, there's a scroll and some various other things. But the main 
main event is, well, like I said, I'll explore around here. You've got a book, Breathing Water, which is an alteration. You go up, then you, like I search the barrel, lavender, whatever, and there's another scroll of calm. There's an apothecary satchel. Just grab another ingredient, the sacks. There's nothing but cabbage and food. But over here now is the body of e Illas Tai. T. Tai. He's got some stuff on it. This guy is one of those lost. Um, students that if you go to the College of Mages that is mentioned and they're kind of around in this area he was trying to try to use calm on skeevers and I think trying to turn skeevers into pets or something but again he's another guy and you look around there's this area, it's, like I said, not on the map, but real easy to find if you kind of walk around. You've got the, again, College of Winterhold. He's a lost student, and it's a lot of these guys, if you talk to Tolfier or whatever his name is, they will be mentioned, and if you explore around this area, you can kind of find them and find their weapons. Another one is kind of over here at Journeyman's Nook. You find one of his body, a body of another student, and then there's another student somewhere around this area. And again, they are kind of located around the area. And I think this is Talos. Yeah, it's a shrine of Talos. So going to touch that and get whatever benefits I get. And again, Talos worshipping. Ooh, bad. Well, this is like one of these wonderful unmarked locations. And I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. As always, thanks for stopping by.